Hello, and thank you for accessing the new transfer credit system. Once you have signed in, you will automatically land on the Timeline tab, which shows you the steps required to successfully apply for transfer credits. The next step is to assert your claims. This is where you add all your prior academic learning to your portfolio. You can add learning one of two ways, by either clicking on the Portfolio tab above, or clicking Enter Your Claims here. You will land on the portfolio page. From here, you can add learning one of two ways. You can either click the Add Learning button here, or place your cursor on the Actions button above and select Add Learning. A provider is an academic institution you previously attended. You can search your previous institution in the provider field box below. It is case sensitive, so please ensure you spell the institution's name correctly. As you type, the institution will populate below the field box. Click on the name below to auto populate the provider field box. From there, click add provider button. If your previous institution's name is not in our database, you can add it as a new provider by typing in the provider field box below. You will receive a message that says, we are unable to locate your provider. You may add this provider by clicking enter new provider button below. This will prompt you to provide some quick details about your provider. Select Enter New Provider button. The column on the right display institution names that are existing providers in our database that have similar names. Please review any similar institutions to double check that your previous institution is not listed. If your institution is listed, click the Select button beside the institution's name. If your institution's name is not listed, continue by adding a new provider in the left column. All field boxes with a red star beside them are required fields. Select Provider button at the bottom once all fields are complete. Please note, if adding a provider from a country other than Canada or United States, a World Education Service, or WES, Credential evaluation is highly recommended, and you may be asked to provide one during the petition process. There are two types of academic learning you can add to your provider. One is credentials, where if you have completed at least a one-year certificate, or individual courses you have completed. To add a course, click the Add button beside Courses. Click Add Courses once more. Type the required information in each field box. For year, this is the academic year you completed the course. For academic term, this refers to the semester or term you completed the course. For example, if you took a course that started in the months between September and December, please select Autumn as your term. If you took a course that started between the months of January to April, please select the winter term. And finally, if you took a course that started between the months of May to August, please select the summer term. Next, please enter the course name and number. Known courses from your previous provider will start to auto-populate as you type the course. If one of the auto-populated courses is the course you took, please select. For unknown courses, once you type the course name, click Tab. You will receive the message below to say this is an unknown course. To add an unknown course, enter the number and title as an example here. 
and select Add Course again. If you, the course on your transcript does not have a course or subject number, please enter it as it's written on your transcript. Next is the credit. This is the credit value of each course as referenced on your transcript. For a grade, we use a numeric grading system, so please convert your alpha grade to numeric against the Canadian grade scale. A trusted resource we use to complete grade conversions to Canadian grade scale is scolaro.com and there is a link to their website above. For supporting files, these include course outlines or syllabus, and these are required for unknown courses as part of the petition process. To add a course outline or syllabus, select the Add File button, choose a file from your desktop, or drive and begin to upload and attach to this course. Once you have added either the known or unknown course with a supporting file, click Add Course. You will see the course listed above. And if you have multiple courses from the same provider, you can continue to add those courses below. Once all app courses are added, click the Back to Portfolio button. To submit a petition for transfer credit, please click on the Petition tab above. You will see any existing or past petitions that you have submitted below. To submit a new petition, select the Actions dropdown and select Submit a new petition. Scroll down on the page and enter the required information below, starting with the campus that you plan to attend at Georgian College, then the academic year, and the term you would like to start. From there, you can search all available Georgian College programs. And as you start to type in the court, the program name, it will auto populate below for you to select. Academic specialization does not have a red star beside it and it is not required. Please read and understand the declaration at the bottom and check the box. Then click submit petition. You will receive this notification after submitting a petition and to view all current or past petitions, you can click back to petitions. You will see a progress bar with the one that we just submitted to say that it's in progress. This status bar will change once the staff and faculty have reviewed your petition and conveyed credit offers. To view credit offers, please click on the Credit Offers tab above. You will can see all completed petitions in this section. To view individual credit offers, view Credit Offer under the Program Information. A new browser window will open with the details of the credit offer. Thank you for watching our instructional video on how to use the new transfer credit system and we look forward to seeing you at Georgian.